Crochet friends, it's me, Jonah, and let's thank Yarn Inspirations for sponsoring today's show and tell. I made a new project and it is called the Bernat Chrysanthemum Dishcloth. And here is one of them. And honestly, I'm calling it a pot holder or a coaster because I think it's just too pretty to use as a dishcloth, but it has various uses. And I used Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton in this beautiful color, Soft Violet. In this color, Rose Pink. In White. And Hot Blue. And those were the four colors of Lily Sugar and Cream I used. And since I made a set of four coasters or hot pads, whatever you want to call them, I mixed them up and coordinated the four colors, and I'll show you how I did that. Here's the first coaster. Here's the second. Here's the third. And here's the fourth. So you can see how I used four colors, but I have four very different looking coasters because I flop the places and it gives you a whole different look. But you can use what you have at home. You can make them in all different colors. You can make them in two colors, but I preferred four because I think it added a lot of vibrance. And you can mix and match. And on Yarnspirations.com, there is a ton of colors of Lily Sugar and Cream. There's the solids. There, they also have the Lily Sugar and Cream stripes. This color is natural. They have just the regular variegated and two other stripes and many others on their website. So you can really mix and match and use what you have at home and have fun with it. So that is the Bernat Chrysanthemum dishcloth. And to make it, you will be needing a five millimeter hook if you'd like to make it a dishcloth size. If you want to shrink it down like I did to a coaster or a hot pad, you'll be need to use a four millimeter hook. So grab your cotton yarn, your four millimeter hook, and let's make these Bernat Chrysanthemum coasters. Okay, I have my cotton yarn, my four millimeter hook, and my scissors, and now I'm ready to begin my dishcloth. But in the essence of time for the show and tell, I'm going to explain to you the first couple steps until you get to the rimming that makes your coaster what it is. And there's also a variation, it's very slight. On this variation, this is the actual variation, I put slip stitches down through the center of each section and back up and slip stitch around the top so you kind of have a white border and this is not as pronounced. That is not the actual pattern on yarnspirations.com. I did that myself. And then today I'll be demonstrating for you the actual pattern when it, the actual pattern. And this, it's made with a single crochet chain one around the outside so there's no edging of your inside color. And then the ribbing is a lot more pronounced. And you can really see how there's two lines going up with a small space in between. And there's a lot more arrows because you chain one in between each stitch and both kinds are beautiful and now I'm going to walk you through the first couple steps of what you do by explaining and then I'm actually going to demonstrate how to do the single crochet chain one edging on the Bernat Chrysanthemum dishcloth. So on the first row right here it is made up of a magic circle. It's a magic circle that you'll then work 10 half double crochet and then double that by increasing every stitch to 20 and then in the next row you're going to increase every stitch again to 40 and then where you begin to pull in your next color if you're going to use 4 you work 2 half double crochet chain 1, 2 half double crochet in the same stitch skip 2 and repeat that all the way around and then repeat that same row again but going in the chain spaces and then when you pull in your fourth color, the yellow that is made up of a three half double crochet, chain one, three half double crochet, repeated around for two rows. And then your last row before you get to the rimming is a eight double crochet shell in the top of your half double crochet V. And then single crochet in between the petals around the end. And that is how you do the inner part of your Bernat Chrysanthemum dishcloth or coaster. And now I'm going to demonstrate for you how to do this ribbing. 
So I have my four millimeter hook, and I'll start by saying it is all made up of single crochet and chain. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start right up here, and I'm gonna single crochet into my first stitch by inserting, pulling up, and yarning over, and pulling through two, and that's my first single crochet. And I'm gonna yarn over and pull through for a chain one, and single crochet in the next stitch. And I'm gonna chain one again, and I'm gonna keep repeating a single crochet and chain one until I get down to the other end of my shell. So I should have eight single crochet per shell because that is the equivalent of the double crochets you had earlier. Okay, this is going to be seven, chain one, and eight. Okay, now it's time to begin to create our ridges unless you've done your single crochet across the top of your shell. What you're next going to do is single crochet going around the post here, going around with your hook underneath and coming out between your single crochet and your shell from the previous row, and wrapping your yarn back down through the base of your hook and pulling up. The first stitch is always the trickiest, maneuvering it around. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through two, and that is a single crochet around your post of row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next step is the chain one, and then work another single crochet around the next sort of post, down one row, so this row down to the next, and single crochet in that row, going around the post, going under and out the post, and pulling back through and single crocheting again and chaining one and single crocheting around the next post and now you're working into your third color just chain one single crochet around the next post chain one single crochet around the next post and now you're going to chain one and single crochet around this half double crochet going up to the top and you finish going down one half of your petal there it is you can see it creates that line going down and now we're going to take our yarn put it back on our hook and work up the other direction the same stitch repeat our moss stitch for the top and go down and come back up and you would have to keep repeating that around until you finished all of your petals so your next step is going to be to single crochet right in the next post without making a chain because this is at the base of your petal and now you're going to chain single crochet chain single crochet and we'll just keep working that up and what I've noticed is when I'm using color combinations I always like to have white somewhere within the choices of color I have and I just think it goes so well with all different color choices. Okay, I've gone to the top and you can see that ridge that we've created. So now I'm going to make that last chain one and single crochet into the first double crochet of the shell. And then I'm gonna start by making my moss stitch. Again, chain one and single crochet into the next stitch. Chain one and single crochet into the next stitch and keep repeating that all the way around your eight double crochet shell. So like I said earlier, you should have eight single crochet, one for each stitch, S seven and eight. So now it's time to work our last way down, going around that single crochet post and pulling up and single crocheting and chaining one and working our way with single crochet and chain one back down. And another one of my favorite things about this dishcloth slash hot patter coaster is that it uses beginner stitches. Half double crochet, single crochet chain, and double crochet, which are all beginner stitches, so it's a great project for everyone to make. And you can use up what you have at home. 
and you can just put them together and use all different color combinations and it always turns out great and you're going to single crochet into your next half double crochet post making sure you get under both loops and then single crochet again and then you're going to chain one and work your way back up and you will need to keep repeating this for the amount of petals of your flower going through again chaining one single crocheting chaining one and single crocheting going in that space and then chaining one and for, in my case slip stitching into that first single crochet because I had previously worked the rest of my slip stitching petals so there it is we've worked two rows of our single crochet ribbing now you can just take your scissors go out a little ways and snip your yarn and pull up and you can weave in your ends and that is how you make the Bernat chrysanthemum dishcloth I'll show you again the difference so this is the actual pattern according to yarnspirations.com which is just lovely I love how the rib is more pronounced and it ha covers the edging and this is my variation that I made where it has slip stitch so it's less pronounced and you have that white edging around the edge or whatever color you used for your last shell border they both turn out great and please remember use what you have at home use up all materials you have and it's really great if you can include white as I really enjoy to do with all my color combinations but have fun with it use your four millimeter hook and your scissors and crochet away with these Bernat chrysanthemum coasters and let's thank Yarn Inspirations for sponsoring this show and tell again and please make sure to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this show and tell on the Bernat chrysanthemum dishcloth so thank you very much and crochet away friends